Hello YouTube. So as I've said in my past video, today we're going to be learning about functions. And this is for GCSEs if you're in England or if you're in America or any other country. This is to deepen your understanding or maybe even just to teach you it. You can use this however you want. You might even be using this just as a bit of a vision. So enjoy and I hope you learn something. Yeah, so we're going to start off with um, we're going to start off with doing equations of straight lines in the form of y equals mx plus c. Um, first, we're going to go over what it means y equals mx plus c. Then we're going to go over some questions. Then we're going to go on to graphing e equations like this, and then we're going to go. To, we're going to go on to quadratics and then real functions as in f of x or f prime of x. But that's from calculus. So like f and then in brackets x. And we're going to be doing questions such as that. Uh, but don't worry, to be honest, it's not as hard as you think. You just need to, you just need to, you just need a good explanation. And I hopefully will show you if this in this video y equals mx plus c means y equals the slope of the line times x plus the y-intercept and the y-intercept i'll explain later on but for now the slope of a line can be calculated through the formula the increase of y divided by the increase of x where x is the x coordinate and y is the y coordinate the intercept the y-intercept is the point where a graph intersects the y-axis so it's when the x-coordinate is equivalent to zero so as an example if we have a line which goes through the point 2 1 and 3 comma 3 we can calculate the um, slope of the line as y divided by x um, the increase of y divided by increase of x the increase of y is 2 and the increase of x is 1 so it's 2 divided by 1 so now we know the slope is 2 so now we have y equals 2x plus c but now we need to do c and this is the more difficult part so if so when we know the so when we so if we know that it's um every time one um it got the line goes up one in x value then it goes up two in y value so if we know that we can subtract two from the x value which makes zero and we can subtract 4 from the y value, which was 1 originally at the point 2, 1. So 1 minus 4 is negative 3. So we would do minus 3. So the, so the revised version is y equals 2x plus 3. So I guess we just learn, you just learn, hopefully what the meaning of y equals mx plus c is okay so on the gcses there won't be many types of functions but functions will be really helpful in all in everything i guess so today you're going to be learning more about well actually right now you're going to be learning more about um math functions for just functions for maths not just for gcses so let's get into it okay so this is f of x it seems quite difficult doesn't it but i just learned to replace it with y so for example we have f of x equals um x squared right so we can just change it to y equals x squared can't we and that that makes it more easy that makes it easier and the y is the the y is the y coordinate, the value of the y coordinate, and the x is the value of the x coordinate before getting the squared. Yeah, you know, because it's just we replace x with three, so x is three, not x, x is not three squared. That's y. Okay, yeah, but that's to be honest, a big fundam is fundamental, just to make sure you know what it means. Um, okay, now we're going to do harder things. So, what about just problem-solving functions? So, for example, this is a question. Okay, 
now I'm going to be we're going to be solving it and hopefully by the end of the next section you'll find it easy so this is to be quite honest an easy question it's just um it's just asking us to plug in the values and problem solve so this is basic arithmetic i mean you should probably be able to do this but yeah here's the answer and um there's how i did it and yeah that's probably the easiest part of function but now we'll be going off um we'll be going on to more difficult gcse material of functions and that was still gcse material but it's the more it's the easier part the other thing i'll be showing you is higher tier and then after that section i'll be showing you guys how to do um how to do things beyond that like for example um more difficult um more difficult functions and quadratic functions and i might even go into integral calculus okay so now just let this soak in to be honest because i've had enough of talking and my voice is kind of cracking i've done so many retakes so just let this information soak in if you want pause it and read all of this yeah but uh, if you have any questions about it, please put it in the comments. I can explain it to you. Yeah, so I'm really excited to now do quadratic graphs. Since, to be honest, when I was nine, I did that. And it was probably one of the thing that sparked my interest in maths. Because now I'm doing integral um, integral calculus and derivative derivatives. Um, I'm doing limits in calculus. I've done binomial expressions. I've done so much. I mean, I was doing earlier some Venn diagrams, some A-level maths, but I never really, I need to remember what really got me to appreciate maths like this. So I'm going to be really excited to be showing you this. And I think this will probably be the best part of the video. Okay, so now we're going to be doing quadratic graphs. And x squared seems quite daunting, doesn't it? I mean, how are you supposed to graph it? It's probably going to take a bit longer since it's just squared. And it'll probably be a bit boring. But there's a quicker way to do this. X squared goes in a parabola. Do you know why? It's because X squared is, no matter if it's negative or positive, will always be the same. You can have negative 3 squared is, three, is um, 9, sorry. And three squared is also nine. So a parabola is reflected through the middle, isn't it? Which is why, well, yeah, I said earlier, it's reflected. So you don't, if what, for example, x squared, it's one, it'll be one, right? The, the height will be at one. And then on the other side, negative one, it'll still be a one. So you can just kind of do, if you want to do a rough sketch, it would just be, it would be kind of a U shape, all right? And I might even do quadratic formula. I remember it by heart. I remember a lot of formulas by heart. But yeah, the quadratic formula, it's x equals ne um, negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all of that divided by 2a. And the values and how you can plug the values in is ax squared plus bx plus c and usually it's just x squared but you can have 2x squared for example so if you have 2x squared plus 3x plus 4 a will be 2 b will be 4 and c will be 3 i said that wrong didn't i uh i mean whatever so if we have 2x squared plus 3x plus 4 then it's a equals two, b equals three, c equals four. And we can plug that into the quadratic formula. But for now, I wanted to just say how graphs work when using quadratics. And I don't know why I taught you about the quadratic formula. It was kind of useless, but eh, better know, to know things than not to. And this is just 
um, while I'm teaching people things that they did not need to know, um, let's do calculus here. Uh, the formula for calcul for derivatives is x to the power of n equals nx to the power of n minus 1. And yeah, I just wasted your time. I'm sorry. Uh, I get I got carried away. But yeah, now you know quadratic graphs. And I'm not going to be teaching you integral calculus and how it goes into um, how it goes hand in hand with graphs or anything to do with calculus, because to be quite honest, I don't have the time and it's like seven. So I'm probably going to go eat dinner. But thank you for watching and you can subscribe, like and subscribe if you want. But my mission is to help people not to gain subscribers. But thank you for watching. And I hope you learned something. Just a quick question. If any of you need any, um, if any of you are doing A-levels or any exams and you find something difficult, please put it in the um, comment section and I'll probably do a video since I'm not expecting like big, big views on this video. So please just put it in the comment section and I'll probably make a video about it. Thank you.